All right, just wanted to do a video talking about the Catholic persecution of the Holy Scriptures because one of the biggest lies of Roman Catholicism is they'll say that, oh, we gave the world the Bible, the Catholic Church gave you the Bible. And they'll even actually have the goal to claim that they actually have rights to own the Bible and that the Bible belongs to the Catholic Church. No, the Word of God belongs to God Himself. Hence why it's called the Word of God. Okay, No organization has the rights to claim ownership of God's Word. And also I'll point out too that, no, the Catholic Church did not give us the Bible, it was actually God who gave us his word. Uh, second, or for, sorry, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13 talks about how it was God who gave us the scriptures, not the Catholic Church. So anyway, a whole other issue on that, but here's an article on wayoflife.org, a report talking about the Catholic persecution of the scriptures. Okay, They did not give the world the Bible, they tried to take away the world, or say, take away the Bible from the common man. It's that simple. And they've taken away the world too, because quite frankly, you know, they serve their father Satan, and Satan is a god of this world. And they're trying to, you know, prepare this world for the Antichrist, but side issue. But here it is. It says on the report, and I'll link it in the description. It says, In the year 1215, Pope Innocent III issued a law commanding that they shall be seized for trials and penalties who engage in a translation of the sacred volumes, or hold the secret uh, conventicles, I think that's how you say it, or who assume the office of preaching without the authority of their superiors, against whom process shall be uh, commenced without any permission of appeal. And it was uh, J.P. Chandler, Illustrations of Popery, 1838, page uh, 387. Innocent declared that as by the old law, the beast touching the holy mount was to be stoned to death, so simple and uneducated men were not to touch the Bible or venture to preach its doctrines. Hmm. Sounds like private interpretations. You know, the, the Catholic magisterium, which talks about in the, uh, the in the paragraph number 85 and paragraph 100 of the Catholic Church, of the Catholic Church Catechism, talks about how only the church authorities can, can interpret scripture. Sounds mouthful like private interpretations condemned by uh, the Apostle Peter, Pope Peter, ironically, uh, who they claim is the first pope in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Okay, because why? Well, if you keep the Bible out of the hands of the common people, they're going to leave the Catholic Church because the scriptures contradict Rome's heresies. You know, that's, that's what goes on here. But going, uh, continuing on. The Council of Trelaus forbade the lady to possess or read the vernacular translations of the scriptures, the Bible. Uh, that's Ecclesiastical History uh, 2, page 213. This council ordered the bishops should appoint in each, parish, in each parish one priest, two or more laics, who should engage upon oath to make a rigorous search, uh, search after all heretics and their abettors, and for this purpose should visit every house from the garret to the cellar, together with their uh, subterranean places, uh, which they might conceal themselves. And he gives uh, the Reformation in Spain, 1856. And it says they also search for illegal Bibles. You see, this is why church-state separation is so important. This is why the scriptural, the scriptural New Testament doctrine of church-state separation is so important. Because when you have a papal state like this, well, they can enforce their papal heresies on you. If you don't, if you don't agree with, with the heresies of Rome, then all of a sudden you're, you're going to be hunted down. Like, a, like they're going to go like this SS-style door-to-door try to confiscate your Bible. You know, This is why the Catholic Church has always been against church-state separation. Because they know that if the New Testament doctrine of church-state separation is in place, they can't have their authority, they can't control people like they used to. Because just like Islam, just like Hinduism, just like Judaism, the authority of the Catholic Church in their theocracies are not just for Catholics, it extends to everybody. Because they think the church ought to control the state. Which is not a scriptural doctrine whatsoever. Uh, John 18.36, Jesus says his kingdom is not of this world. But I could go whole, whole, whole off on that for a while, but... Continuing on, it says the Council of Tarragona ordered all vernacular versions to be brought to the bishop to be burned. That's Parasomnum's Bible from the beginning, 1929, page 60, 162. In 1483, the infamous Inquisitor General Tom Tomas Toquemada, I think that's how you say it, began his reign of terror as the head of the Spanish Inquisition. King Ferdinand and his queen, quote, prohibited all under the, under, all under the severest pains from translating the sacred scripture into the vulgar tongues or from using it when translating translated by others. And he gives a thing on that. Uh, for three centuries, the Bible and the common tongue was a forbidden book in Spain, and a multitude of copies perished in the flames uh, along with those, together with those who cherished them. But remember, they gave the world the Bible. No, they took away the world. They took away the scriptures from the world. Because they're of their father, Satan. That's why. 
It says, uh, continuing on, Pope Leo, who railed against Luther's efforts to follow the biblical precept of faith alone and scripture alone, called the Fifth Lateran Council, 1513 to 1517, which charged that no book should be printed except those approved by the Roman Catholic Church. Therefore, forever thereafter, no one should be allowed to print any book or writing with the, the previous examination to be testified by manual subscription by the papal vicar and master of the sacred palace in Rome and any other cities and dioceses by the Inquisition that the, the bishop or an excerpt appointed by him for a neglect of this punishment was excommunication, the loss of the edition, which was to be burned, a fine of 100 ducats, I think that's how you say it, to the fabric of St. Peter's and suspension from business for a year. Henry Lee, the Inquisition of the Middle Ages. Now, where in scripture is the church leadership given that kind of authority and power? No, in fact, you're actually forbidden from that. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 5 Verse 1, the 4 condemns the elders trying to rule over the, the, the flock like that. Okay, But why? Well, they're going to be on... See, the, see, the thing about that is that when you don't go by Scripture alone, you can add your own traditions to it. Just like any cult, Roman Catholicism does not hold by Scripture alone. Roman Catholicism holds by their traditions, and then you have to rely on what the Pope says to know what the Bible says. You can't read the Scriptures on your own. You have to go by, by what they say. Basically, just, just believe it because we said it, essentially. That's what they're going on. That's what's going on there. And no, nowhere in Scripture, in fact, it's contrary to Scripture to, for the church to exercise this kind of unbiblical authority. This is nothing more than just the modern-day diatrophies. Uh, the, the popes, the, like I said, the Pope is nothing more than just the modern-day diatrophies from 3 John chapter 1, verse 9, who wants to have preeminence among the brethren. The Pope is nothing more than just a usurper of God's authority. He's the usurper of the authority that belongs to Christ alone. It's that simple. And the Catholic Church did not give the world the Bible. The Catholic Church took away the Bible from the common tongue, the common the common vulgar citizen, the, the laity, they call it. Because why? Well, Satan knows if the, Bible's in God, and if the Bible's in the hands of the common folk, then he won't have that kind of influence through the Roman Catholic Church because the Catholic Church controls people by taking away the scriptures. When you take away the scriptures, you can control them. And you can make them think that you, you hold the power over their salvation when the Bible says that Jesus Christ is who gives you salvation and no man can pluck you out of, out of the Father's hand. John chapter 10, verse 27 to uh, 29, I believe it is. So the bottom line is, is that don't believe this lie that the Catholic Church gave us the Bible. The Catholic Church has always been the biggest enemy of the scriptures. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.